it's a trick. They always use it, as was said to me by the Israeli government minister, Shulamit Aloni, uh, no longer with us, uh, but for a time, a bright light uh, in the Israeli political firmament. Uh, she gave me dinner in her apartment in Tel Aviv uh, over uh, looking the city. I remember very well the twinkling lights and, and Yaffa, uh, the port in the distance. She, she gave me dinner and she said to me, actually before she ever said it publicly, maybe I was the guinea pig, she said, it's a trick, we always use it. That is to say, the calling of every criticism of Israel and its conduct as a state, Zionism, uh, on the character of its ideology, uh, call it anti-Semitic. You'll quieten people. You'll marginalize and frighten people. You'll repel people. If you simply brandish, apply the label anti-Semitism to any and all criticism, uh, it's a trick. We always use it, she said. Now, that worked for a very long time and to an extent still works today, particularly in the field of having people no platform, particularly in the field of employment, having people fired or not hired, having students expelled, and not being allowed to graduate. And in that kind of sphere, uh, it still works. Although even there, it is subject to the law of diminishing returns. But amongst the general public, having seen everybody now described as an anti seaman including the Pope, including Joe Biden last week when it looked like he might be demanding a ceasefire, might be threatening Netanyahu with an arms embargo. Turned out neither of those was true. But when it looked like he was, Joe Biden was called an anti-Semite. 